The college football playoff committee released their latest rankings last night, and Alabama has rolled into the top spot, beating the Bulldogs on Saturday. This, this is what that will get you. At number two is Oregon. Three undefeated Florida State. Mississippi State rounds out the top four, while TCU and Ohio State are looking in. They're on the outside looking in. They're almost there. Uh, Skip Bayless, what are the chances that you believe this right here, as it stands, as it stands. would be the final four? Stephen A. Smith, I have a sneaking suspicion this will not be the final four, though I wouldn't mind this being the final four because I was pleasantly surprised that Mississippi State, and we both <clears throat> agreed on this on Monday, belonged in that four spot because they did play the heck out of Alabama at Alabama. I believe they're one of the top four teams unquestionably. But here's what I think might happen, maybe will happen. I think Mississippi State will win out. I think they'll beat my school Vanderbilt and then win at Ole Miss. But they will not obviously be in the SEC championship game. Alabama will go on to, to beat whoever's from the other division in the SEC championship game. I believe that Ohio State will win out beating Indiana, Michigan at home, and then probably Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game. And off that, I believe they well might leapfrog Mississippi State and become that fourth team because I told you from the start, I think there's some democracy at work here and I don't love it. I love democracy, but not in this case. I believe that, that the top four of the five power conferences will each get one representative. Obviously, Alabama SEC, Oregon from the Pac-12, Florida State from the ACC, and finally, Ohio State from the Big Ten. I think that will wind up being, unfortunately, the final four, and Mississippi State will be on the outside looking in when clearly they're one of the best four teams. I disagree. I think that if the four teams, in the, the top four teams in the nation all win out, I think that they'll remain in the top four, and they'll ultimately uh, be, uh, you know, in the playoff system. Uh, to compete for a national championship. That's the way that I look at it. If Mississippi State beats Ole Miss, if Alabama b wins the Iron Bowl, uh, you know, if Oregon and Florida State win their remaining games, I think it will stay as such. A lot of people are worried because conference champions supposedly mean so much to the committee. I believe even though the committee is legit in saying so, if it was that ultra important with them, they would Mississippi State provided them the perfect excuse to drop them below TCU and Ohio State. But they didn't do that. By letting Mississippi State remain in the top four with their loss to Alabama, I think if they went out and Alabama went out, they both end up in playing for the national championship, even though, I'm sorry, or in the playoff system, rather, mm -hmm. even though Mississippi State wouldn't be playing for the SEC championship. Are you I really sure they're that. just not patting Mississippi State on the helmet one time? and then knowing full well that Ohio State is coming? If Mississippi State beats Ole Miss, how are you going <clears throat> to do that? How are you going to get away with that? Even if Ohio State and TCU end up winning their remaining games, along with uh, Mississippi State doing the same, even though they wouldn't be playing in the SEC championship game, the fact remains you had an opportunity to knock them out. You didn't. You left them in the top four. So if they're nine and one and then they finish 11 and one just because they didn't participate in the SEC title game, because that would be Alabama and the winner of the East, the fact remains is that you had an opportunity to knock them out of the top four and you didn't do so when they lost. So how are you going to do it when they win? I think they can do whatever they want to do. And for, for, again, you and I are on opposite sides here. I, I'm still not sold on Oregon being one of the final four because of that 104th ranked defense. They've given up the 104th most yards well, in the country. Well, just remember that I'm just assuming that I'm, I'm speaking to Alabama and Mississippi State if they win their remaining games will be in the top four, even though Mississippi State wouldn't be playing for the SEC championship. That's what I'm saying. If they decide to knock Oregon out of the box or Florida State, because Florida State, the reigning defending national champions, still left standing undefeated in Jameis Winston's career as the quarterback, if they think their victories are too suspect and they haven't been, the, the strict the schedule wasn't tough enough or the competition, the games was too much, too close to their liking, who knows what they'll do. But as it pertains to the two SEC 
teams. I think if they win, they remain in the top four, even though Mississippi State wouldn't be playing for that conference During the commercial break, game. you said another school was coming. They're ranked nine now in the latest playoff rankings. Vanderbilt Commodores. No, no, no. That was oh. the UCLA Bruins. You said they were coming, too, as well. I thought they did. I don't recall him saying that. No. Okay. Uh, are they still playing? They're still playing. I thought they just... No. Checked in. No, no, no. They're no. still here. They're not on a bye. They're here. <laughs> They're working it out.